Low Speed Gaming. Apologies for the delay, but we are here now. Uh, our volunteer Jeff Gaines and Games is going to be uh, getting Epic Wade's stream set up. But it's live. We're here. We are ready to play. And what kind of RAs do we have for today? Um, we have replace all the things with missiles in both games. That's the only RA. Okay, so we're playing pretty standard today then. Yep. All right, and our teams are Partners in Prime and Sunshine Spark. Do you have a favorite going in? Do, do you know much about these players? Um, well, Partners in Prime, I'm pretty sure are undefeated so far. Granted, this is Sunshine Spark's first match of the tournament, but I do not doubt any of these players' skills. I'm really excited. Yeah, to see that's I'm, I'm definitely with you there. I definitely don't recognize all of these players. Uh, Dacian, this is the, sort of the first time I've seen them play. Dacian is was formerly known known as Frostbite. In oh, in, uh, okay, uh, never mind then. The, then. Yeah, these are some good players we have. As well as Emerald Pie was also in last year's Prime Tourney. Epic uh, yeah, Wade, I recognize Emerald Pie. Epic Wade was not, but Epic Wade is actually a Super Mario Sunshine ROM hacker, which is very impressive nonetheless. Yeah, it takes a lot of skill to make those, to put those things together. It's a lot of work. We'll see if that knowledge of the GameCube can transfer over into Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I, will, I honestly, GameCube. I wonder. I'm very excited. Okay, well, the race time room says that they're uh, set to go. Should be catching up on restream soon. There we go. There's the timers. And cropping on way will catch up truly. Yes, unfortunately, Wade isn't showing up in the back end yet, so it's going to be a minute before we have everything cropped, but it's going to get done. Yep. So, with standard CGC tournament settings, Echo starts in Great Temple. Both players start with their own missile launchers so that gives prime is that a wave buster in great temple uh beam come of some sort it is let's go hint hey. hint hint you most reward is a <laughs> missile expansion good news at least the for our runners the two most hint in man screw attack in uh alcove mm. that is and that's a suit really in landing attack. site that looks wow. like a very suit Okay, that's a stack start for Prime. Big money, big money. Okay, both players, both Prime players are on their way to get hints. All Echoes players are stuck fighting Albert. The Love this we do have oh that's true we do have screw attack i don't think you can actually do damage without space jump here but i think it's worth a try at least because fun fact that is actually a very effective way to deal damage to dark alpha spawner if you come here with space jump and screw attack you can get you can like kill it in like two of them very impressive Oh, it seems that Emerald Pie is scanning some of the hints as they go? Or just that one? Okay. Yeah, Emerald Pie is just scanning all of the posts, which isn't necessary, I think. I think they're scanning something they don't need to. I might be wrong, though. Hey, I don't blame them. How many times I've accidentally only scanned six instead of all nine, because I'm too Fair explained. enough. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you do not want to be the person who says, oh, I forgot to scan some of my artifact hints. Let me go back and get them. That's the worst sentence you could say in the history of humanity. Mm -hmm. And, ooh, a, and a power bomb bro. on Alpha Splinter. Very helpful. That's progression. Since we don't have our normal bombs yet, that can open some doors for us. Not literal doors, but you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, main... 
main PBs are not required in this preset or with these RAs. So any any power bomb expansion is a welcome one. Okay, meanwhile on Prime side, both players seem to be checking transport tunnel B before they head into Chozo. Didn't seem like Frost or Daceon picked up anything. I'll see it again on Emerald Pass side. Just eat some. Okay. Meanwhile, Lucarius just checking out Dynamo Chamber. Fair enough. You have one PD. Wouldn't hurt. Not pushing all the way into GFMC. Which is a fair play. You don't really want to go out of logic for GFMC, it's a pretty big time waster. Yeah, That's yeah, it. especially because we can't get the ship. The ship yeah. doesn't spawn until we go to Aegon and we do Jump Guardian. And until then, GFMC is not going to be something we can tie up, because we're going to have to come back there to get the ship item. Now, yeah. some, there are often seeds where we have to go to GFMC to get the first item before that even becomes possible. But you never want to do that. You, you never want to bank on that, because it's never uh, very fun. It's never yeah. very good. At the very least, you would want to wait until you get Emerald. Dark Aegon keys are in Dark Aegon, Magmor, and Phazon Mines. Because the solver tries to not make you do point of no returns. It, well, it does it at random in this in Space the jump boots. Space jump boots in the gallery wall. Gallery tunnel, okay. No, no, the wall, not the tunnel. Yeah, okay, so... Man, yes. That's good news screw for tackles. Echoes. Yeah, early screw for Echoes. It's very good. Uh, no Amber yet, so we can't skin him. So are we getting a Mining Plaza check, though? Didn't see it. Light ammo. Lucarious. Oh. Dark suit in a mining station access, MSA. Interesting. This is... I don't know what this is shaping up to be. This feels like a... We don't really have any beams for it, but this seems like a pod W or face on grounds play, honestly. Yeah, Planet of Dark Warship is starting to... is The name is starting to sound a little interesting to us now. We don't, again, like you said, we don't have the light beam to open up that block, and we don't have the dark beam to open the portal, so we're going to have to come yeah. back to that idea later. But it's starting, we're, we're starting to think about it a little. Yeah. And that's an SDK on Vault that's... Ledge. It looks like something else was on uh, Ooh. the main plaza half pipe. Amber is in GFMC. That could be a big advantage for Wade. Yeah, that could be huge, because, you know, we got if we get that before we go to Aegon, that's big. Also, yeah. it's been a while since I've seen somebody scan the orb cannon. It, if you don't have SJ or bombs, and you don't want to trigger the cutscene, that's the fastest way to get back there. I don't think... Emerald from uh, Rune Shrine, oh. it would appear. Okay, well, that puts that Emerald in logic. Granted, that screw tech also does. So, I wonder if we see anything in transport A axis either. Hmm. Where was that emerald that was rune rune shrine? Yeah, rune shrine. On the uh, morph volume. Oh, hints hints read. Rune fountain. Then see what the first one was. I think it was like uh, it's, it was it was dark like oasis. Wait, Hive entrance. Uh, Yuck. Research lab Aether. Um, storage Magma C. Pool. Magma pool. Airy. <laughs> no way, dude. Okay. Let's go, Airy. Uh, watery hall access. That's easy. Okay. That is crazy, actually. And uh, Plaza Access in Torvus Fog. So we need... Man, 
we need a lot of stuff. We need Echo, first of all. Yeah. As well as Spider and Boost and Main mm -hmm. for Airy, as well as um, Dark and Light Beam for Annihilator. And then Light Suit for Hive Entrance. Amazing. Not great. Not great. And we still have our Echoes, or our Sky Temple keys to worry about. We found one of them, but that's not much of Solace. Mm. Also, technically, we could say that Flogger is required because of Ruined Fountain, but let's be real, neither of our teams are probably going to actually do that in that order. We might fight Flogger, but probably not for that reason. Ooh, spider, Echo Spider is in the tree. Okay. Oh, very nice. That's one less mystery solved. I don't know if Emerald Pie knows how to peek that. We'll see if they do. Okay, nothing on Bomb Guardian. Yeah, just a missile expansion. So, where does the carry spawn go here? You might want to push. Dark Aegon, and then go to GFMC. I feel like you're in a pretty good position to do that. You have a suit. Seems like otherwise. Probably going to go fight Darkness Trooper. Meanwhile, Wade is going to be making his first pass into Aegon with Amber in hand. This will be very big. Okay, I didn't catch the key bearer hint earlier, but yeah, a cursed lake is just a missile related upgrade. And since it's behind a seeker door, it can't be seekers. Is seekers even missile related, or does it say missile system? The key I'm not sure. I think there's different types of uh, system hints. There's like the vague and the specific. Mm hmm. I, I can never keep track of exactly how it all works. Yeah. Sometimes I learn and then I just forget. It seems that Emerald Pie is going to be waiting in Shrine for uh, either Morph or Space Jump to get out of Shrine. Oh, that's something in uh, Transport A Access, I believe, the room is. Yep. Oh, like that's ball, spider ball. Oh, that's Echo Spider. Boost is in the tree. Okay. Yeah, yeah Epic Wade already had Spider, so I was a little confused. I was thinking, how did they get the tree item? The keys to Hive Temple. Ooh, I don't think we care about those. That's not a that's not a good first Amber hint. It's only helpful if you get a Sky Temple Grounds one. That way you know that potentially one of your key bearers that says key is not there. I think that would see suppressors. Oh, we got uh, audio coming through on wait side. Okay, yeah, well, I'm just going to go ahead and mark not usable. Yep. No problem. It happens. It happens. It's no big deal. Okay. So, interesting. So, Lucarius actually just did transport A access when he save worked. Okay, and... we're seeing a, a VMR to check this item. Uh, shrine, that looks like a missile. Or, not Shrine. Ooh. Fiery Shore. I meant to say. Yeah, Fiery Shore is... It's interesting dead. to see VMR for sure, though. Yeah. I don't also, what think happened to the game can... over screen? Uh, he's just really fast, I guess. I guess. Um, yeah, a VMR, pretty risky. You can you can't make it to Fen with that much EBIT. Yeah, we don't have enough. We do not have enough. Not even close. If you have one more, you could probably get to it. But Spider Ball is <laughs> three rooms away from TTA. Yep, that's that's our that that, that is TTA. That's where Spider is. Okay, good to know. Granted, they both already have it. <laughs> Man, Amber Hint's not panning out so far. Yeah, not a lot of uh, value. I 
Oh, wait, you're right. For a second, I was confusing the spider ball with the suit that was in uh, MSA. I was, like, getting a lot of my room names mixed up. Echo's names are very hard to organize. We have, like, three different sets of storage A, cache A, in cache A. Okay, Lucarius is going to be checking DMT. Yeah, it looks like it. That was also a really good screw tech through the gate. The one thing I will note is that we don't have bombs yet, so we aren't going to be able to check uh, Hive Chamber B. Oh, uh, true, but Echoes does have a PB, so they can get that. Oh, out true, project. true, we can use that. That's a good point. I almost forgot about that. And we do have full PB, so that's absolutely going to be doable. Though it could be a little dicey if we use it on DMT. We're probably not going to have to worry about Ooh. it too much. And we missed a quick kill on Bomb Guardian. Very unfortunate. That's yeah. time loss. Space yeah, Jump is for our Prime player. We're on DMT, so that's going to be very helpful for uh, Dacian. I hope that Wade goes back to that after Bomb Guardian. Yeah. Otherwise, Emerald Pie's going to be waiting there for a long time. Honestly, at this point, Emerald Pie should maybe consider resetting. Yeah. Faster. Unless they're in the That was on Grapple Ledge. Main Plaza had a lot today that we just didn't really catch. Mm. Five Chamber B. Dark Visor. Okay. Yeah, Dark Visor and uh, Chamber B. That's a really good... Uh, Sort of a uh, opening area. That's very good uh, federation area. I don't know what you would exactly call this region. People like to call it, I believe, like Splinter Hive area. Splinter yes. Hive, yeah, that's that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Get a little smiley face from Emerald Pie on the floor there. Let's see it. First thing is Tower of Light play now that we have that wave beam almost immediately after, and that's going to give us a missile expansion, unfortunately. Not really what where, we're looking for. Where we'll was be able to check this lower that wave beam? What was that? Where, where was the wave beam? The wave beam was on Grapple Ledge. We got that right Grapple. after we got Space Jump. Okay. realizing we do not, in fact, have bombs to get a gun energy controller. It's unfortunate. At this point, I really got to start questioning Emerald Pie's decision not to just reset. Yeah. They might be just in BK anyways. Oh, you're right. We don't see a lot of items for Prime right now, so that's definitely possible. Yeah, without Space Jump, that locks Wave Beam, so Prime can't really start moving. And what's that in the boost ledge? That looked like Annihilator or something. Or maybe just a beam ammo. Might have been SDK. SDK 1 on Vault Ledge. Ah, there's Morph. Morph and Sand Cash. That gets Emerald Pie BK. That gets them the various suit in Landing Site. Both of our prime players get morph ball at about the same time. And so we're probably gonna. What does what does Dacian do with here? Is he gonna he's gonna push more of Chozo? Okay. Yeah, that's probably what I would do in this situation. Now that we have morph ball, we can go into Arboretum, and from there the the world is our oyster. That said, landing site is also looking appealing. That's one of our artifacts that we uh, had the hint for in Ruined Fountain. So that's not going to be a progression item. What was that hint in Mining Plaza? I thought I said I thought it said phase on mines. What was the hint? Oh, it's the it's the hive key hint. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not important. Our Aegon keys are in Dark Aegon, Phase on Mines, and Magmore Cavern. If you were wondering. Yeah. Okay. Artifact of Sun that we got out of uh, WHA. 
Okay, Lucarius is going to be pushing the laps. Okay. Interesting play. Without bombs, you can only really get command center. Yeah, bombs are going to be pretty important. Unless we see those real soon on the prime end. That power bomb is huge news for uh, Dacian, though. Thermal visor. That's Yay. a big item. Not right now, but it's going to be super helpful in final bosses. We probably aren't going to be missing that on either of our uh, players, but it's still good to find. And Wade it also does help with Tharnas if thing. we decide to do that. Lucaris Lucaris probably got a peak central mining station here too. Missiles in the water. Not gonna go get those. Okay. Dark ammo in central mining station. A key. And a key. Okay. Key in battle rounds. We do have the dark visor. We don't have supers or dark beam or lightning to reach that. Daisy, I'm looking for a power bomb. A power bomb drop. Not Emerald. having a lot of luck. Emerald Pie is going to be going all the way through Magma with the Severia in hand. Can push further than what Daisy did, but Daisy is going to be save warping right now. Probably going to get that very end. Do the same thing. And then various suit comes in for Dacian as well. Carius is not pushing Dark Aegon. No, it doesn't have bombs, never mind. Yeah, he can't even do that. Dark Beam and Frigate Crash set, that's a big find. Ooh, dark that's beam. our first Echo's Beam. Yeah, Dark Beam is big. It's definitely the most important out of the three beams. Light Beam, you can definitely go without. It'll start to bite you, but it's not going to really hold you up the way Dark Beam does. Yeah. And there's another STK, that's I believe the second one we found so far in uh, Triclops Pit. Okay. So now Labs is a little bit more interesting with Dark Beam. That gets you storage B and a point of no return to Doomed Entry, which is probably why Lucaria is safe there. And we're going to see Arbor Chamber out of bounds from Daisy on here. Gets the same nice. And then. Well, well done. And that's another SDK. That's the third one we've seen this seed. Although Dacian has only seen two. Definitely a good find. Uh, skipping that plasma beam is very, very helpful. Pie is going to be pushing all the way up towards Lava Lake. And we're going to see Storage B. Or er, wait, we already did. I'm not paying attention.
Oh, that's actually a fourth SDK in the uh, tunnel there that we saw from Daisy on just now. I must have missed that when Emerald Pie was moving through. Okay. Oh. That's true. You, Dark Beam lets you get a uh, main reactor fast. You're I right. About this, yeah, because now we can we can open the gate. And we can also get the item. We do have a power bomb we're gonna use that to end the Dark Samus one fight instantly. Dark Samus one was not built differently and cannot withstand power bombs. <laughs> built similarly. George D has Dark Emma. Fine, you still want to get this item? And we got a power bomb refill as well, which is always nice. Mm -hmm. That's going to be helpful for sure. Can you activate bomb slots with power bombs? I never remember. Um. No. Uh, so sand uh, processing definitely still isn't in the play. Or, well, now it. Ooh! There oh, we I go. Know, that's, that's prime bombs, not activate. Prime bombs locked by boost ball. That is going to let us actually check more of Magmore. Now we can go all the way to Lava Lake. Big news. Yeah. And so by extension, that's also locked by Prime Supers because Echo Spruce is in the tree. Now, Lava Lake we could do with Power Bombs, but we need two. So unless we get, you know, that unless we get really lucky with a drop from one of the uh, Puffers, which that probably isn't going to happen, that would otherwise be impossible. Since we only have one power bomb. This could be a significant advantage. Oh, that leads us to our oh. super missiles. That is going to be an advantage. Ooh. That puts prime bombs That's... in logic. Yes. Ooh, that is... That's really Damn. interesting. And some bad news for Emerald Pie. Emerald Pie is absolutely getting punished for checking Magmar so early. Because they are not going to find those. Not gonna find Dude. those super missiles. Honestly, in that position, finding super missiles in Bob Lake kind of wants me, makes me want to go back to Chozo to get boost in the tree. Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking of right now too. And with the wave beam, I'm also thinking about Research Lab Hydra. Mm -hmm. That's that's coming to the front of my mind right now. Yeah, bombs for Prime gives. They see on full access to uh, fence shorelines and the like. And this is why we didn't get the uh, earlier, we didn't get the Sky Temple Key, because we want the Power Bomb for this room, and that's Flamethrower <laughs> and uh, Warrior Shrine. Red Flamethrower. Save reset from the carriers. Interesting. Or were they? It, um, I would assume doomed entry. And although. Okay, we do get a very quick power bomb drop to get this SDK, so it's no big, no big deal, no harm, no foul. That's the fourth one that partners in Prime have collected. I believe. Yeah. Actually, wait. Has partners in Prime gotten the one in? Uh... Arbor Chamber? I don't remember. Uh, yeah. Deceon did do Arbor Chamber out of bounds. Right. I, f I forgot which team did that. Double damage! Let's go! Big news. Ooh. Lucarius is gonna absolutely get the most out of that. Hey, they're just... Emerald Pie is finally picking up their weight beam. And that sonic boom in the half pipe. Okay. That's what it was. I was like, why are they picking up the Annihilator beam? Oh, that's why. Because I, I didn't get a good look at it, so I wasn't really aware yeah. that there was just Sonic Boom, but still. I'm sure we'll still get that anyways. Since we're going to be there for boost, might as well. Could come in handy. Probably not, though. Ooh. 
Echo Visor and Upper Shrine. Okay. That's both of our visors for Echoes. Both of which are required. You see some good sample tech from Emerald Pie. Okay, so Dacian is actually not going to push Fen, but is instead going to go back to Chozo. Interesting. I guess this makes sense. You have a lot of stuff without Morph. Cool. And oh, also, Ooh, I noticed we... that Emerald Pie's tracker isn't working, which is quite unfortunate. Oh, probably doesn't. It happens. We we do have technical difficulties. There's the boost ball but... for uh, Lucarius. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be seeing a wall crawl to Tortoise. Okay, I I kind of like yeah. this play if I'm, I'm being honest. We have Emerald. You know, that's pretty big news. We've got both of our ball upgrades. We've got Space Jump. We don't have bombs, though. Ooh, that's a suit. In yeah, that's a suit in... Uh... Oh, okay. Not to, Tor not to Torvus, but to get to Dark Aegon out of watching. Okay, this is... Now this Ooh, is actually more interesting. This is fascinating. Echo Visor. Yeah, so I think at this point... Echo's Bombs needs to be in Prime's game. I think probably in Fendrana. Or in some of these Morph checks. In Bomb checks in Chosen. Maybe Lucarius wants the Light Suit. Maybe... Oh wait, no, we can't get the, we can't do the Bomb slot. So that, doesn't, that wouldn't work. Which, was that a progressive suit in Transport Center, or was it... I thought it uh, was. It looked like a progressive suit. I'm not sure, though. It seemed like... I'm, I'm trying to piece enough, together like, the logic in my head, and it's not quite... Um, it's not quite all adding up to me. Look, Echoes is BK for bombs at this point, and Prime has bomb checks in Choso as well as Fen do. And that's a spider ball for Prime in Vault. The good um, Here we go. We're seeing almost all of our no, ball No, don't lines, do it, Lucarius! But... Ooh, he just barely <laughs> saved that Lightbringer's life. Oh, man. Don't the Lightbringers like don't that. deserve any harm. They're just doing their job. They go out of their way to generate life zone one living. Okay, so now we're going to be seeing Broom Closet here, as well as Jump Guardian. This could actually, I, this is actually a pretty big play. Considering Echo's Bomb should be coming up soon, theoretically. Broom Closet is an energy tank. Okay. And we're probably going to do Jump Guardian now. Now that we have double damage, Jump Guardian is definitely going to be easy. Does double damage apply to missiles as well? Uh, it does. All right, and that's going to make it. That's, that's going to be very handy to have here. And Emerald Pie is getting supers now, for themselves. Okay. So they're going to be pretty happy about that. And it seems that they are going to go back to the tree. I would advise that. Although, Wade is not close to Dark Sands right now. 
doesn't have the dark beam. Right. So, Prime Bomb's still a little bit off for them. Remind me, where was the dark beam? I know I saw it, but I just forgot. The dark beam was in Prime, I think. I think you're right. I'm forgoring right now. Uh, you might. You also might be thinking of the wave beam, which was on Grapple Ledge. Yeah, I I don't remember where Dark Beam is. That's main power bombs for Echoes. Very handy. Echoes. Especially dangerous. since we don't have bombs, that's going to be huge for the ammo increase. Wouldn't you agree? Ooh, yeah. Um. Okay. Interesting. If we already had bombs, I would be saying, you know what, we already have two PBs. Is that really the huge deal that we all think it is? But it is. It is a pretty big deal. Yep. Lucarius, great. let's see. Lucarius does not have the bombs for that bomb slot. Oh, are we going to be seeing bomb slots without bombs? Uh, I'm not sure. I do Boost not ball. think for epic wait. Okay. This would be epic. I don't think power bombs work. Yep, that is a soft lock from Carius. Unfortunate. Unless oh, this is a big green play. He's waiting for the bombs just so he can hit that. Okay. Is that what's going on? That is incredible. Yeah, because at this point Echo's bombs have to be in fun. So they should I mean, be sure. out very short, shortly. This is this is a human. This is a two hundred IQ play for sure. Yeah, I've never I've never this seen is, anyone. This is, this is how John von Neumann would play Metroid Prime Echoes. Mm. Oh, oh, was bombs up here? Okay, it was in Lighthouse the whole time. Yeah. I didn't see it. Okay, yeah, Days That would saw make that. so okay. much sense. That's brilliant. That is. That is funny. Okay. Yeah. So Frost did enter shorelines and then save warped. So he probably did see the lighthouse and then just decided to play hard for the spider. Yeah, yeah. That's actually really smart. I really like that. Everything about the way that partners in Prime are playing this has just has me really... It is brilliant the way that they've routed this. They are, in fact, seated first. I'm not then, surprised with that kind of gameplay. Ooh, that's Grav in Transport Center. Is it? Oh, I thought it was a progressive for Echoes. Interesting. Good. That is still bringing us up to from a 10% to a 20% damage reduction, so that's not nothing. Oh, oh boy. We are seeing And that's ice. Light Beam. That is Light Beam in... Uh, is this from Maybe Chapel of the Elders? Yeah, okay. And Wade is going for the Sank Entrance play. Okay. This is... I like a Sank Entrance play. I in like it. In, in but logic. it's a very... It's like a coin flip, whether you get something useful here. There's a good chance you do. But you only get to flip the coin once. This is... Okay. Um, They gotta be pretty careful about their health here. Yeah, the commando fight can absolutely whittle you down if you're not careful. Looks like we're going to be attacking some of these drones to try and get some drops. They don't tend to give you very many, though. Yeah. They tend to give you power bombs, if anything. And, ooh, we're seeing a secretless mineshaft? Are you curious? It would appear so. We do have screw attacks. This is entirely doable. Mineshaft is one of the ones that a lot of more runners tend to learn because it's so useful to know. But it's not one of the easier ones yeah, in the it, game, for sure. It's definitely one of the more difficult ones. And we see it. But we still manage it. Yep. And are rewarded with a hint, first of all. Suit can be found in Dynamo, Dynamo Works, Works for Dacian. Oh, that is... That's Phazon Suit. That's a big hint, actually. Uh, that's supers. That's supers, supers in mining station B. Wow. Okay. Echo. That's huge. And, and we have the light beam and power bomb, so we can check the other item. Is okay. Lucarius is oh, not. Can't we check the other item in MSB? We can. 
but he is not going for it. Interesting. I don't know why. Was that? I mean, I mean, are we just the phase on suit at supers? I think you can just kind of take that and run. To be honest, I don't know. Just hope that that's not like uh, plasma or something. Could come back to bite him. Grapple behind Zoid. Dark Torus Bog and Temple Grounds are our Chickakees. Not hinted yet. And oh, we're seeing a Zoid play by Emma. I don't think that Dacian actually hit this. Yeah. The item behind Zoid was just a grapple beam, but it's still something. SDK and Sand Kingdom. Man, these SDKs are very easy. It's it's very odd that you see... It's not every day you see the artifacts being worse than the SDKs. Granted, we don't have our hints yet. But we could actually get hints on Echo Side, I believe, if we wanted to. And Emerald Pie is resetting out of Zoid. Unfortunate. Okay, it didn't seem like Sank Entrance yielded anything for Wade. Yeah, at this point, Wade needs the Dark Beam really bad. Where? Ooh, okay. And meanwhile, on Partners in Prime Side, we're seeing a Reverse Labs play, followed by Pushing Fen. Does... What does Dacian do here? Which way does he push? Oh, plasma and sand. Plasma, processing. plasma. Okay, that's huge. Um, that actually. Wait, where was Echo's bombs? Echo's bombs was the shoreline lighthouse. Oh yeah, that's right. I almost forgot that we had bombs this whole time. That I plasma, forgot. I don't know how, because that was such a brilliant play. I still think that. That that plasma actually makes me want to push Thirdus instead of Labs. Although you do have to check all of the actual plasma checks back here first. Okay. That's Dark um, Beam and FCF, that's where it was. That's, yeah. For F that's uh, now Epic Wade has it. Okay. And... That is... Storage C is one of our artifacts, apparently. I must uh, have missed that hint. Yeah, storage sees in our face. And what's that? I think that's just an easy thing. In bioenergy. Mm -hmm. Cannonball. Cannonball was a nice roads east behind the ice. Okay. Um. Interesting. Cannonball does not hurt those metroids. I wasn't aware of that. I thought that would. I think in this position, Cannonball is okay. I think Lucarius has enough to... We already did the portal the route stuff, so we don't have to worry about that, taking our Cannonball away. Yeah, we could. We opened up Transport Center, so they can route around Portal Access A. And... Should be smooth sailing. Hey! We just got a... Nice wall attempted root cave, root cave dash from Emerald Pie. Very well done. Uh, 
Okay, so plasma checks didn't yield anything but that cannonball so far. I wonder what DC on does now. There's a lot of options. We're seeing some sank plays from Lucarius. Ooh, spider treasure? Okay. Yes. This is in logic with mains, and we do have spider. This is actually a pretty, pretty good time to do this. We could even... Yeah, we could actually do a ton of sank if we wanted to. Can't we... We can even do area right now, I think. I think we have everything for it. Yeah. We got the energy. We have Dark Suit. We have Echo Visor. We have Dark Visor. We have our ball and upgrades. Space Stone. You know, we've yes. got beams. Yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong. Man, a seed where Airy actually routes in pretty well. Crazy. Meanwhile, Annihilator in Hazing okay. Cliff. That's light big. Beam, light beam locked Annihilator. Very funny. So, yeah, we couldn't have gotten Annihilator for Airy. We had to get both light, lighting and dark beam. And meanwhile, Dacian is going to be pushing Labs first instead of Thardis. Okay. And oh, we're seeing a Magma Pool Dash from Emerald Pie. Ooh, very nice. Struggling a oh. bit. Fun. I believe I believe. Ooh aw. Oh. Didn't quite bend it far enough. We don't have... Wait, it's not collected the grab. Reset. From Emerald Pie. Yeah, I think they saved in Gathering Hall. Ooh, there's a Prime PB in Observatory. That is very good. I We're think getting the Hive Gyro item. That's, a, that's an Ice Beam. That's big. Wow. Okay. Good call from Lucarius. I would have Spider's known. Treasure has been paying dividends. That. That is, yeah, that is almost... Taking a man. save here. That's like, you just need hints, and then you can, like, you're in go mode. That's crazy. Although we we are still short a light suit. I forgot about that. Save and warp, apparently, is what our strategy is right now for the carriers. And with that ice beam in hand, that does let Dacian route all the way through. Yes, that means we're going to be able to pop out the back and go do far fence stuff. Or possibly circle around a Thardis. Yeah, I think we're going to be seeing a hints play from the carriers here. Yeah, hints then reset would be actually would actually go really strong. In. Okay, meanwhile, Epic Wave is going to be starting labs with that Dark Beam. It's going to find Prime Bombs relatively soon. In. Yeah, Aether is one of our artifacts, so Dacian's going to grab that. Mm, true. And that's wild. This could be a really quick seed for partners in Prime. Yeah, this was... Look at Rowdy. Honestly, I think the biggest separation right now was just that Dark Beam, which let Lucarius find Prime Bombs. And, yeah. And since then, Prime just hasn't stopped on partners in Prime's side. We want, ooh. We are seeing... Okay. 
Ew. Annihilator being in Hazing Cliff, we know that. Yeah, this is an interesting play. Uh, DCM will be getting here later. Close to Emerald Pie, who's pushing this now. As far as we know, this could only have the progressive suit. We know where Phazon is. Where was Phazon actually? Phazon was in uh, Dynamo Works. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Granted, that is only Phazon, so we can push that for a little bit. Push that off, I mean. So yeah, right now we're just in a light suit hunt. That's all we need to complete this seed. And our Sakai Temple key hints. Which yeah, is what's going to tell us what else we need, if anything. But at this point, there's not really a lot else it can be. Maybe Seekers. Maybe Cobalt. And Gravity Boost, probably not. Yeah, no required use for Gravity Boost as of yet. Very nice seeker skip from Lucarius. And nothing in gravity chamber. We've already found five STKs, which is insane for this point of the game. We only got four left. Wind Chamber Gateway. Easy, easy, trivial to knock that out. Okay. Sank Energy Controller. Easy. Yeah, that's that's right next to Dynamo Works. You know we have to get there. Elite Research. Pretty that, doable. That is the cringe one so far. And under transit one. That's the final hit. That's all four. Those are all pretty good. That's wow. This is a jet seed. Prime has to go to mines just for that SDK. That's a that's crazy. That's insane. CGC without a phase on mines. Tip. That's wow. Okay. Well, could be light suit, right? We do need light suit Granted, for, yes. uh, you know. That is true. The light suit is the last wild card. That's still That's... absolutely in play. Honestly, I think you should just go to Torvus and then scan Emerald Hints. <laughs> and then if you find Cobalt, just go to Sank instead. Just hope that you get a progressive suit hit. Oh, and Wade is stuck in sand processing. Oh, uh oh, that's right. Wade doesn't have bombs either because yeah. prime bombs are locking Echo's bombs. Oh, that's unfortunate. Can you even screw attack into this hole? I it assume looks, so. It looks like you can. Wade almost got it. And did they... That's one SDK, three to go. Did they look at main reactor and get the time bombs? Oh, there you go. You can screw into that tunnel. Okay. Good to know. And, oh. Why did they go there if they didn't have bombs for the bomb slot? That's what, kind of what I'm asking. I don't know. Prime also doesn't have the Morph Ball Bomb, so I don't think Wade saw Main Reactor. I don't think he saw the bombs there. Very unfortunate for them.
Oh, wait. Wade does see it. Okay. Wade is attempting this. Or not. They just stopped to do this instead. Fair enough. Okay, well, that's going to net them Prime Bombs. Which, and Emerald Pie is, in fact, in Fen. So maybe, maybe they saw the lighthouse so maybe they at least know that echoes bombs is there i do not know but uh emerald pie still has to go back for the fighter first what wait hold up that hit was, was that? for power bombs and was that face on grounds fit oh face on ground i thought that said face on mining tunnel no it said face on it was an echoes location okay Cool. Otherwise, that would be very, very uh, funny. I mean, I don't even Seekers. think we need it. Seekers, Seekers I guess, were, I, were either in Quarantine Cave or Quarantine Monitor, I suppose. I think light they suit. were on Thardis. Light suit. Oh. We got light suit. In wow, a, like okay. Forgotten Bridge or whatever this room is called. I forgot. Okay. It's so the Forgotten that's... Bridge because I forgot it. That room is Great Bridge. Forgotten Bridge is the other side of Yeah, the I'm, I'm just joking around. I know. Okay, so that that's go mode. Or no mode at that's least. Go mode. For... That's go mode for sure. They don't know which Ooh, that's right. They don't know which um Check and Dynamo works has the phase on suit, so they. Could... I assume Dacian would just do this boostless spinner. I mean, yeah, you kind of just want to do that and then leave. Interesting. So. I guess, logically, the only thing that Partners in Prime are missing is Cobalt to get to Spider-Guardian. But if it's in the tunnel on the top, we could skip it and do a instant on Morph inside there. Or they could always just wall crawl. Oh, there's some Prime Boots. Okay. Awesome. So now, now we don't even have to worry about that. We are in full go mode. Under Transit 1 doesn't have anything uh, we have to worry about, right? That's pretty easy to get. Uh, yeah. I guess we would like to find an X-ray. <laughs> boost ball hit. Three rooms away from the boost ball. Very funny. Oh yeah, that's right. Plaza Axis was also a artifact. Okay. Now the real question is, is this SDK on Phil himself? Or is it just in the spinner. I personally hope. I think it's on Philip. I I hope I'm it's on Philip. But I'm feeling like it's going to be on the spinner because we still don't have prime main PDs yet. Phase on crowns is 100% in logic, though. That is, uh, that is true. Okay. At this point, I don't think it's worth grabbing. Like, Screw Attack was one of our first items. Dark Beam was ages ago. Yeah. Uh, and we f almost fell down the shaft. Good save from Dacian. That's another artifact out of the way in Plaza Access. We uh, had to take care of that. I don't 
think this has a good angle here. You want to be a little bit more to the left. And also not have Is that to, true? I just I just always kind of wing it and the get want, I seem to get it. You see that crack on the floor that Dacian is right under? You want to boost right on top of there. I've never really gotten stuck in that wall for too long. Yeah. Usually just boosting more seems to deal with things. And it's in, in the uh, rock wall, not on Philip. Rip Philip. Okay, well, with that. Is that, that a vanilla is... Torvis key? I hope so. Uh, not that it matters, we're just gonna. Oh, Venomous Pond? Yeah. Ooh, are we gonna be seeing Cash B. Chasm into Undertrains of One? Perhaps? I think so. I suppose that's probably why we got the save, just in case we uh, fudge that one a bit. This is this is a very good wall crawl. Yeah, this is really just a it's classic. My personal favorite. Okay, so we just screw tag in this hole, land on the sandable, transition to cash B, peek it before you fall down. Then you're just gonna line yourself up right around here. Morph. Wait for Dark Drift Temple to unload. And then we're gonna wait for Under Temple Shaft to load. And then we're gonna transition to the room. Or we'll get the sustainable first. Either or works. And then there we go. Yeah, for those who don't know, Cash B still has the Aether Box, or the loading triggers, rather, of the elevator room in the light world. So you can theoretically just transition to under Temple Shaft from Cash B and not crash the game at all. This is very helpful for routing. Yeah, this is very clean routing. And, oh... That's, I entirely forgot. Yeah, Dark Oasis is also an artifact, so they have to fight Power Bomb Guardian. Oh yeah, you're right. Man, this I, is... That slipped my mind completely. Man, this is easily like a two hour plus C on average. Yeah, hard. and the partners in Prime is making it look like a joke. This yeah. is going to be like an hour and 20. Maybe. Yeah. Unfortunately... Epic way to still short those Echoes bombs. Although Emerald Pie should be getting. Emerald Pie does have the spider. So. Should see them route to Shoreline soon enough? Question mark? Three bomb slots down. It's a very good APB Guardian fight. Not getting bullied at all. And the easy one we have for last. That's uh, all four. Emerald Pie honestly just probably forgot to establish the connection to Dolphin. Which is... Yeah, that's probably why their tracker just isn't working so well. The, it's... Yeah. Unfortunate. Remember to check your trackers, everyone. And ooh, Seekers and Dark Visor in hand. We're going to see Epic Wave come in from Sink Entrance. And Dacian gets the artifact in Magma Pool. Okay. We've got like six now out of our nine. Where are we at seven? So we still need Dark Oasis, Airy. We're getting under transit one right now. I think that's all of them. Mm. I thought under transit was an STK. 
yeah, under transfer poisonous to Kate, my bad. We're seeing a reverse flogger play from Emerald Pie. This can't yield anything. We know where everything is, unfortunately. Yeah, maybe he'll get a gravity boost or something out of this, but that we, we, we already know we don't need one. Yeah. So, okay, so Dacian has full cleared his game of progression. So now he's just going to be waiting on his artifacts and that phase of the suit. E-tank on Lopper that gets way before E-tanks. Very nice. Okay, so how does Lucarius want to route this? He probably wants to route from main research to probably Airy at that point, and then do Spider Guardian. Meanwhile, I think Dayson actually just has some time to kill, so he's going to see if he can pull, like, unlimited beam ammo or something. That definitely makes sense. Going to be doing the forget play here. We have gravity suit, may as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, there's a, B a UBA that you were just talking about. So that's pretty much it for uh, Echo's items. I guess unlimited missiles, technically, but who cares? We have enough missiles. Nice. I see that Dace likes to do the outdated for your crash site climb. You use bad standables instead of a really good slope jump. The sunburst. Nice. I don't think yeah. uh, Lucarius has Sonic Boom, actually. I think Dacian didn't pick it up. Yeah. Sunburst will help for final bosses. That's yeah, a... Sunburst is one of the three main strats that you use for Emperoring 1. There's also Annihilator strats and Super strats. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure which one is the best. Super or Sunburst strats are used in 100%, so I would assume that they are the best. And then you follow up with supers. You would do Annihilator if you have double damage, which in this case they do. So I would very likely see them do that. I see. Does double damage not really help with Sunburst? Uh, it does. So you would probably see a Sunburst followed by some rapid Annihilator shots. I see. The, the sunburst is kind of wonky to hit, considering that you have to consider the... It's just kind of a large up. projectile, so the shields can hit it more easily. Is that yeah. it? Sunburst, sunburst moves very slow, and it also... You have to be in the air when it's firing, so you don't, like, hit the rim of Emperor Ng's body. Yeah, yeah. 
I just grapple. Echoes grapple. Yeah, there's a bunch of different ways to climb for your crash site. The most easiest way, I find, is that you can slope jump to the left of the door, and you can just get on, you can slope up to a standable, and then slope up again to, like, the, to the ice door directly. It's hard to explain, but it's a, just two slope jumps, and it's very easy. I see. Easy and fast. And we're seeing rare judgment drop portal use. Very good. Honestly, I'm I'm starting to think that Emerald Pie did not peak the lighthouse. Because hey, they why still are you getting this artifact now? Is this really the best use of time? I mean, I think it's just because they don't know that Echo's Bombs is in the lighthouse. Because exactly, that's what I'm thinking bomb. as well. Because if we had that knowledge, we wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, that seems to be pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I, I guess a lot of people don't know you can peek the lighthouse. So well, it's not understandable. It's also just kind of really hard to see sometimes. Yeah, that too. That's another big one. Which is why people sometimes don't realize that that's possible. I always forget you can screw attack that pile of bendesium. Mm. Ooh. Messes up a bit there with the inputs, but it happens. Whoa. Quick fix. Not the best puzzle, I will say. Never the best puzzle. I mean, that is Say the that vanilla again. puzzle. This is old patchers, so it's not a random puzzle. Yeah, I, I was referring to the way it was being solved, not just to the puzzle oh. itself. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's really hard to aim your cannon at the small, tiny dots. I don't believe Yeah, that. that can definitely be a factor. And, oh, we have confirmation. The phase on suit is, in fact, on Spider Guardian. That is not ideal. Uh, so, we're going to be seeing a wall crawl from Lucarius coming up here. Honestly, at this point, what is Dace looking for right now? I think Echoes actually has everything that could benefit them. Yeah, Echoes is in as good a spot as possible. You know, Dark Burst isn't going to do anything for us. I guess we could potentially find the Ice Spreader? Question mark. But, like, really, who cares? I mean, okay. I guess it's still uh, a good item. Ice Spreader is a fair enough. You know. 
thing to play. Here. I, yeah. So if, if, or and, oh, and like Dacian will know Dacian, well in advance when to uh, you know start to march their ass to the final bosses. Dace still needs X-ray. That's probably what he's looking for, honestly. Oh wait, what do we need an X-ray for? For uh, oh yeah, yeah, for just essence, for final essence, bosses. Essence. Yeah. You're right there. You're right. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> All right, guys. Airy Jam, come on. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Can we get the volume turned up on Who Cares to Stream? Yeah. Required Airy. Thankfully, we do have the Dark Visor, so that is also that is also a logically required item for this fight. I believe it's advanced combat that expects you to fight it without it. And fun fact, don't fight DS2 without Dark Visor. It's not fun. I have personal experience in it. I was in a multi once where it took me, like an hour to try and beat DS2 because I couldn't hit it without the Dark Vice. You like Aerie? Well, I personally prefer a much better room as opposed to Aerie. Hive Summit, which is where we are now. You know, it's funny, I haven't, I hadn't really seen Aerie be required in a long time. And now it's like two games in a row. Yeah. That I've covered and, at oh, least. Yeah. Oh, we're also, we're seeing a wall crawl from Epic Wade. Okay. Interesting. To get the uh, gravity might, suit, or... This might be the suit. same, the same play that Lucarius did, honestly. True. This is impressive. There's the artifact in Airy. I appreciate the effort. Wall crawling is very cool. Honestly, I wonder if at this point um, X-Ray Visor is actually just in mines. That would be fun. Man, that would be funny. Oh wait, we're we're climbing a furnace. There's something here. I looked like a missile. Oh oh, unfortunately. Oh, oh, that was close. He wants this. Yeah. It didn't look like a missile to me. I didn't get a good look at it though. It looked like blue or whitish. No, wait, it was just a missile. Right. Maybe they're trying for unlimited I mean, missiles, because I know it has the same model. I mean, yeah, at this point, you can kind of go further out of your way for missiles, because, I mean, you have nothing left to do. You're just chilling. May as well. We have all the beam combos. May as well get some missiles. A successful wall crawl from Epic Wade here. Very well done. Are we doing? Are we doing it? Do we have Dark Burst? Does Epic Wade have Dark Burst? Um, I don't think we've seen Dark Burst. Sonic Boom also works, but they don't have Annihilator. Yeah, because we haven't been to Hazen Cliff. 
hive entrance. That's right. That was our other artifact. Forgot about that one. Dacian, meanwhile, is doing uh, Zoid. Oh, that's right. He never did Zoid. That's crazy. I didn't think about that. And our last artifact is in Dark Oasis. Yep. Yeah. It's not often that Dark Oasis is seems like the good SDK out of some of them. Or artifact, rather. Honestly, at this point, I think you just save and warp and go to Aegon. Seems that okay. It's just a different idea. Fine. Yeah, this is the kind of hard part about Echo's routing. As as tempting as it is, save warping, at least to main energy controller, can be pretty detrimental. Some people just don't. You don't really notice how fast it is just to actually go to take the side transports versus just warping to start every time that the time blood in Temple Grounds racks up really fast. Yeah, yeah. this this gets him right next to the labs. This is objectively better than what I thought. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we're going to see Ace ready up here set himself right inside Temple Lobby. Look at that big impact crater. Looks like Dacian is just going to wait now. Scan some pirate data. Let's get the lore. Meanwhile... Wade is now fighting Jump Guardian out of logic. And Emerald Pie is going to be heading towards Mag. Okay, this is a step in the right direction. I really like the dichotomy of the seed, seeing how good it can be for one team and how absolutely trash it can be for the other. Those those bombs were not kind. Or more like deceptively kind, rather. Just the fact that you had to go back to Chozo to get Yeah, you, you, you wouldn't expect it. I think it was just that Emerald Pie received bombs at a really bad time. So at that point, they had like done a bunch of Chozo stuff. Okay, that's the last artifact. Dacian is going to get it and move. Yep. We might even see a Five Eye Skip attempt here. So we can do. Final boss is up to essence, and at that point we need phase on suit. So it's best to just get this out of the way now. Ooh, mess up. Must see. Oh, 
That seemed like a good a good time, but I think it was the wrong angle. You wanna be up against the wall. You fired that last plaza shot. There's the boost. What's what's the last artifact for SDK that we carry is missing? I don't remember. Um it might be Olir actually. I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We do have still have to get the one in Sync Energy Controller. Tacyon is having a little bit of trouble with some of these mouth shots. Understandable. Those are pretty tricky to hit. Ooh. Okay. I actually have to get out of here. My my own race is actually coming up here real soon, so I think you can handle the rest of the comms. Yes, I'll be able to handle this. Thanks for joining us, Schwartz Gandhi, for this wonderful speed gaming race. I will finish this out. Thank you. See you later, everybody. Bye bye. You can follow Schwartz Gandhi on Twitch with the links in chat below. That's a final SDK. We're going to be going out of bounds for something. I'm not sure what. Oh, yeah, Spider Guardian. The phase on suit. That's what we're doing. Because at this point, Dacian has started the fight with Exo, but will not be able to damage Essence until receiving that phase on suit. So we want to get that before this boss fight finishes. It's going to be pretty critical to uh, keeping everything running smoothly. And the out of bounds is successful. The point of that was to skip the uh, Cobalt Gate, since we don't have Cobalt Translator. So now we can just fight Spider Guardian as normal. I'm going to switch audio to Spider Guardian. You see a bit of an early pause there, which is uh, from Lucarius trying to skip the cutscene.
Now we're on the final area. We have these three to clear. These three pylons, we have to make the Spider Guardian run into them, and after that we'll have won the fight. And this one we have to uh, use several bomb slots to uh, manipulate these uh, little flaps to be in the right position. The fact that we actually have Spider here is definitely not uh, nothing. It definitely does help. We see that Epic Wade has finally gotten their bombs, which is going to be really, really helpful, but it's a little bit too little too late. We're not going to see any kind of comeback here. There's just not enough to work with. There's too many things that Epic Wade hasn't been able to do for so long that it's just not going to be enough. And that is the Phazon suit for Dacian, who is now going to start the fight with Metroid Prime Essence. Now the Karius has like one Sky Temple key left that they have to go get. Okay, we have actually all of the SDKs, my bad. So we can just complete the game at this point. And that is time for Dacian. Completing Metroid Prime in 1 hour, 31 minutes, and 49 seconds. But we're not done yet. Uh, Dacian's teammate, Lucarius, still has to complete the game. Carries is now turning in the Sky Temple keys to enter the final area in the game, Sky Temple. This is really just a, a big arena with some other runes attached where we fight the final boss of the game.
and let the fight begin. We're using pure annihilator strats, no sunburst here. And that's it. Very quick. We only have two power bombs coming into this fight, but that first one knocks out four tendrils, which is massive. And another four on the second one. That is big. You couldn't ask for more. That is solid, the way Emperor Ring 2 got picked apart. And now we're uh, waiting a moment to try and find an opening for Emperor Ring 3. There's a screw attack hitbox underneath Emperor Ring 3's model, and we managed to hit it for massive damage. We've already finished the fight. That was like maybe one and a half minutes for all three phases, which is fantastic. Now we just have to do the escape segment, which involves another boss fight with Dark Samus 3 and Dark Samus 4. Hopefully we don't even see Dark Samus 4. I think uh, Partners in Prime is absolutely uh, such a stellar team. Lucarius should be able to dismantle this uh, Dark Samus fight. That's time. GG to Partners in Prime. Sunshine Spark has opted to forfeit the match. Hopefully, if everything goes well, we'll be able to get them in the booth soon. I know Speed Gaming has been a bit flaky about sending out invites properly, but... I would like to speak to them about this scene. Still waiting on some runners to join us. Well, Emerald Pie is here with me in the booth now. Unfortunately, some of our other runners are having trouble joining, so I don't think we'll be able to speak to them today. But Emerald Pie, what did you think about this, Steve? 
I saw the artifacts and I wasn't happy. I wouldn't have been either. Airy was not a good place for an artifact. Uh, what were some of your favorite item locations this seed? I'm trying to remember everything. Um, bombs are a little annoying to find for both sides here, at least on our side here. Yeah, bombs were pretty bad. That was uh, the main one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think our other runners are going to be able to make it. Uh, I'm probably going to cut this off and like, ooh, wait, we got uh, somebody. <laughs> okay, never mind. That might have been nothing. I'm not sure. But uh, there's another seed that I kind of want to commentate in like eight minutes, so I don't yeah. want to drag this out too much anyway, since, especially since we're not going to be able to hear from everybody. Any mm -hmm. uh, final comments? Not really. <laughs> I think the seed speaks for itself. Yeah. It's amazing that it fit, that Partners in Prime dismantled it the way they did. Yeah, I agree. They, they, they were just absolutely tearing it apart. I'm it's definitely really look at their side on this one. I don't know. I can't even imagine. Yeah, Dacian finishing in one hour and 31 minutes is just absolutely incredible for the, the way that this seed was. Oh, oh hello, Lucarius. Hello, uh, Ask. Oh, hello. Dace, sorry. <laughs> hello, ho. Uh, I was actually just about to finish up here. Did you guys want to add any final comments? Uh, yeah, I guess. How was your early slash mid game? Oh, are you asking me? Yes. Oh. Oh. Uh, kind of just ended up a hunt of uh, where's bombs for both of us, honestly. Ah. Uh, so I got got us. Yeah, they they missed the they didn't check a lighthouse, so uh, they didn't realize bombs were there. Whereas you guys spotted it before you checked lighthouse, before you actually like, got the item. So you you okay. kind of played around that quite well. Oh, I went yeah. to Fendrana pretty much last for finding bombs. Oh, that's unlucky. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit of a gamble, but it paid off. Paid off pretty big time. Anyways, I do hate to cut you guys short, but again, I've got places to be, so I'm just going to end the stream now. All right. I'll see you in the guys' next mission. You could follow our runners. The links in the chat. I'll see you next mission. All right. See you next mission. Thanks see you.